Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is my first class where I will be uh, making a learning expert for robotics process automation and I have few agenda which I will be sharing with you. But before that, let me give you some brief about what is robotics process automation. As you can see my screen like it is a technology that allows everyone today to integrate the action of a human interacting within digital systems to execute a business process and this software bot will never slip and it makes zero mistakes where well, I can tell you like this is kind of a software robot can be taught a workflow with multiple steps or an application such as uh, we are working on data manipulation excel kind of work or data entry we are sending many messages manual messages chat box checking the form for the completeness and filling the form in order like uh, we have banking forms which we used to fill up the form in day to day our life and updating our spreadsheet name and these are the work which we are doing automation that entire process is called robotics process automation we can simply tell it's it's a kind of a design it kind of a design bot to reduce the burden of human uh, respective work simple task what we used to do on day to day basis so let me go to my agenda what i will be going to uh, like showcase and about to tell you about those things this is my agenda so i have five content so first i will be discussing about how is rpa different from other enterprise automation tool let me go yeah RPA gets its name from robot. We generally like understand the RPA as a robot, but it's not about any kind of uh, like physical robot. It's kind of a process robot and it's kind of a technology where it's derived called robotics process automation. Like what are the process? We will be doing it by a process robot. We call it as a robotics process automation. And this technology is programmed to like perform daily work or routine respective task and that were once handled by human. Now let's say like in our office we spend most of our time working in Excel or kind of sending emails. Suppose we have repetitive kind of emails where we are performing day to day manual process such as data entry. Uh, while RPA and like the enterprise automation tool have the similar concept but the difference typical lies in how we can use in our day to day life as well as their complexity as well as their flexibility we need to understand we need to check how we determine this kind of things and the robotics process automation is primarily like being used more extensively at the user end level my second topic is like how does robotics process automation work this is a nice like interesting topic like what are the process where we can utilize our automation or where we can utilize our bot my first is like logging into any application suppose as we are working in like user end or many kind of application we used to work suppose let's take an example of finance and banking sector in finance they will be working in sap or oracle database and in banking there are many more kind of uh, like banking portals and many uh, like online portals or online website those are the things which we can do automation and like copy and pasting the data moving files and folder to one file to another and extract process structure and semi-structure content document and pdf suppose we have a you know, 1000 of pdf data suppose a customer data which we need to extract and put it into in a proper form that we can do it in automation and there are various way how we can do this kind of thing repetitive work which a human need to do and we can do it by a robot and there should not be any kind of human interruption 
now read and write to the database like how we are reading our database and how we do write in our database like opening email attachment uh, in our day-to-day -day basis we are working in opening emails we have a lot of email work site there if the person is working on utility industries kind of refund team or any different team they used to get a lot of emails or we can take about um, backhand jobs where people used to work thousands of emails chatting to customers and replying back if we are using a proper template then this can be automated in a proper time and scrap data from web and there are many more calculation we can do in automation rpa like excel calculations and excel manipulations and all of the things now my next topic is like benefit of rpa what are the benefits we used to get from rpa rpa provide an organization with the ability to reduce staff costing and human error better accuracy and improve compliance first cost saving super scalable increase speed and scalability but my let's discuss one by one like what is reduced cost like how rpa reduce our cost like rpa is working day to day basis like a human being so it's saving almost like 30 percent of our work what we used to do in our daily life and software robots are also costless and they are like full-time employee we don't have to pay to them they will be working for us as per our needs for our better experience like we deploy rpa for high value resource to put back and frontline ensuring your customer success as well uh, it is the major factor in lower operational risk by eliminating human error as a, like you can say lack of knowledge if we have rpa reduce this kind of error yeah we human being we have a tendency like we can make error or error can be happen with anyone but if we are using rpa and the bot will not make an error so <coughs> sorry the bot will not make an error the bot is doing the repetitive task what we have configured them and they will work only the same way what we have done and it does not replace the existing it team yeah you can say the biggest disadvantages of rpa is like it's nowadays like rpa is reducing the human effort and many people are like reducing their work effort and which is very much beneficial to the organization and nowadays rpa is moving into ai ai nowadays you you all are using many kind of online sources and everything you people know like what is artificial intelligence how rpa is moving to artificial intelligence and working with it i will give you one small example like we uh, a renowned person called david scadji he is a managing director of deloitte and he has a banking experience with he has implemented last year rpa uh, in which bank redesigned its claim process by deploying 85 bot bot means a uh, robot a task bot to run 13 process which is handling 1.5 million requests per year and it is now successfully working my next topic is what process are relevant to rpa what are the process we can do in rpa that i need to show you you can see my presentation like you can see my presentation where i am uh, like showcasing you what are the relevant to rpa like first is my function my fna procurement human resource contact center industry specific let me go one by one industry in FNA, we have account receivable, accounts payable, and general laser. Uh, it is very easy if you are a, uh, working in a finance sector to know this term like account receivable, where customer receive all this cash, account payable, like where we, where company is liable to pay to someone. A general laser is after that where we are having debit and credit balance. In banking sector, all these thing which has been done by many people and uh, repetitive tasks for month and month year after year is now getting automated and let's talk about procurement like invoice processing like you are buying something like online and you are getting one invoice and you just uh, like if a person need to make your invoice and send it to you it will take some time but now it's getting automated like 
the invoices what customer are receiving it's by sending by bot only they have a fixed time bot will get an intimation that person or purchase this thing he will put it in a format what we have given the input and it will send you an invoice letter or a purchase order human resource we can see nowadays bot are processing the payroll like in the company we have three lakhs of employee and it's not possible for a person to pay a single one by one or to pay the payment process it will take a lot of time so earlier it it has many kind of uh, enterprise automation but now it is been taken care by <coughs> rpa they are now taking care of this payroll they are processing every day with a particular time yeah there are few escapes and handling which has been taken care by team but most of the time most of the work is been done by robots only hiring candidate management it need to be shortlisted and uh, there are many ways where you can uh, in hr are using <coughs> cost center customer service customer service is like uh, we can say chatbot like as we are opening one website below we can see there are chatbot so chatbot they are they will give you some specific option where you need to click and this is why this is a kind of a bot called chatbot where we develop this thing to understand the first requirement of the customer then we proceed accordingly with that one that industry specific pro uh, processes are cards activation like our mobile card fraud claim discovery claims processing new business preparation report automation system reconciliation bill of material service order quality reporting account setup metering grid validation these are all the things where we are doing rpa and you can see this color i am uh, showing you this color like these are potential of rpa like which is low which is mid low and which are the high rate we need to process you can see industry specific and financial are high rate and majorly <coughs> majorly rpa has been used in banking and finance insurance healthcare manufacturing high tech and energy utility we have lot more but these are the sector which is widely used now we'll go to the next topic like what are the top three tools in detail this is one of the major question over here like what are the top three but as per your knowledge i want to tell you like there are so many rpa tools in the market but few companies are very much like commonly using the best three from long time from 2014 and 2015 which been groomed and uh, the tools i will tell you what are the tools but i will discuss more detail about only the top three the tools are like globism ui path automation anywhere pega context jacada win automation creon work fusion cofax there are so many tools but i will discuss one by one my first tool is automation anywhere <coughs> automation anywhere implements all core capability it has a multi talent capability it provide on premise and cloud service as well it is user friendly tool very much easy the person who is fresher who want to start his career in robotics process automation i must suggest he should definitely take automation anywhere in his routine so that he can work and he can learn more easily because it has very nice community and the best thing is that you are getting the community version also where you can use automation anywhere for your practice and to understand more better and its features are provide bank grade security it provides security through authentication encryption credentials real time report and analysis analytics it provides platform independence smart automation for business and it operation and many more it allows for scriptless automation <coughs> uh let me tell you about my next is ui path ui path is you can say for 2019 this is the game changer in rpa in rpa industry this is the game changer where ui path is at third position in 2018 and 2019 it is like a first position and it's very nice nowadays it's very much grooming like vi path afford all core capabilities 
it render assistance for Citrix is very nice. You can work in SAP as well for non-developer who is like who is not technically who is not from coding background who is just passing his who is just want to pursue his career in for him UiPath is one of the best where he can learn and there is less coding is required and this is also community community version is also available where you can get the community version for free and practice it enable global enterprise to design and deploy a robot for, uh, workforce for their industries what are the features like ui path can be hosted in implicit terminal or cloud environment yeah, everyone is going into cloud nowadays it has auto login features to run the bot mm, scrapping solution we can use this kind of languages like dotnet java flash pda vba SAP. this is very much easy to work on this kind of environment it affords an open platform it can manage all process in number irrespective yeah one thing i want to tell you like we have all automation tool which is kind of which will make you uh, in a layman i can say all features and all things are same but the complexity the feasibility as per the application as per the work the tool specific is very different the language specific is very different the coding perspective is very different So my next tool is Bluepism. Bluepism is the leading market from all the time, but due to his cost effective, now clients are not much giving importance to Bluepism. They are now moving into automation anywhere. First, because of his cost and second UI part. Bluepism is very costly. You are not entitled to get the community version. But from last six months, they have introduced the trial version for 30 months where you need to give your card detail and everything like that but it is not free of cost it's very much costly like it's very costly so and it is one of the leading tool because it has started the rpa and and uh, i worked in this three tool but the most complex you can say and the most easiest also you can say it is blue Pism. this is very much stability we don't have so much of issue and this tool also assists the business process to be prompt and cost effective by automating manual rule based back repetitive office process. The tool provides a flowchart like design. Flowchart is kind of a step by step design, how we used to make our design. Kind of a graphical design, you can say, not exactly graphical, it's kind of a drag and drop. There will be stages and where we need to drag and build a workflow. And we can run this it can also work on any platform with application it doesn't require any plugin we can easily work i worked in groupism when i was working in groupism i worked in sap it has a very good capability to work in sap environment as well for working on this tool one should have programming skill and yeah programming skill is a little bit needed like vva if you can use python script but nowadays all developer are moving into python script and it's very good if you have a knowledge of dotnet java or vva is like mandatory and this tool is mainly used by medium and large company like generally i told you it's very cost effective small companies cannot afford them even if medium companies also they used to think twice like whether they can afford or not but ui path and automation anywhere it's very much easy small medium enterprise also they are using and it's very good so it has the features like it support multi environment deployment model it can be used on any platform it can run for any application the tool doesn't need programming skill to implement develop profound efficiency and automate end to end business process improve control room to allow real time feedback so this is my agenda for today i hope you enjoy my video hope you have uh, learned something what is rpa what are the benefits and how it is different what are the tools and uh, from my next session i will be starting my classes for automation anywhere where i will be showcasing you some kind of project which we are working till today life and uh, what are the challenges we are facing and and you will gradually get to know 
how the things are happening so please like and subscribe to my channel if you really like my channel please share with your colleagues please share with your friends so that they should also learn these things and thank you